Vicki, as you mentioned, multiple search warrants have been executed today, including here at the home of Brooks Houck, Crystal Rogers' boyfriend at the time of her disappearance. Now, law enforcement has been here before, but many believe this time will be different. Brooks Houck, the only suspect named in the 2015 disappearance of his girlfriend, got an early morning wake-up call Thursday when, according to neighbors, law enforcement made forceful entry into his Glenview Drive home. I just imagined that he was always going to be our neighbor, like, type thing. Like, you know, like, it's, that's, I mean, the running bad joke is nothing gets solved here in Bardstown. On Thursday, the FBI announced they were taking the lead on the Crystal Rogers case, telling WLKY they were executing nine federal search warrants and plan to conduct more than 50 interviews in Bardstown. The warrants brought them to Houck's home, where IRS agents spent the day hauling out boxes, hard drives, and guns. Ten hours later, when it was over, Houck was mowing his lawn. Still, neighbors were grateful to see movement in the case. Anything that has to do with justice and going forward, that would lead to some answers is a blessing. Searches were also done at the Pulliam Avenue home where Houck's brother Nick lives. The former Bardstown PD officer was fired years ago for interfering in the investigation. For hours, FBI agents, including canines, seemed focused on a pickup truck. The Houck family farm, the last place Rogers is thought to have been seen alive, was also searched, both on land and in the water. It's been searched before, but this time neighbors thought the outcome could be different. Thank God the FBI took over and they uh doing their job now, finally getting for, uh, closure on it. And that closure, along with justice, is what the family of Crystal Rogers has spent years praying for. Roger's mother, Sherry Ballard, said Thursday she was grateful for the continued work of law enforcement and felt good about the direction the case was going. I couldn't imagine not getting answers. I couldn't imagine all of this time and not knowing. It would be a nightmare. Now, as you can see at this hour, it is pretty quiet. That's because the search warrant here at Houck's home wrapped up in just the past two or so hours. But at this point, Vicki, we do not have a timeline from the FBI. We do know they are also working to conduct 50 plus interviews here. But at this point, really, it would be impossible to say when or if any charges would be filed in the case moving forward. Reporting in Bardstown tonight, Lauren Adams, WLKY News. The remains found in Nelson County are being analyzed by the FBI in Quantico. Law enforcement says that process could take several weeks.